Capricorn, welcome into your video. So we're reading for the fourth week of August. Let's see what your situation is for the fourth week of August for Capricorn, please. Wow, new opportunities. Don't we love that? We got two new opportunities. What? What? Okay. Let me stop with the jokes. Okay. You have an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands. These are two brand new opportunities. One is for a new job, a new position, a new promotion, and can be financially rewarding. The other is a creative new project, okay? So this could be one and the same. Now, if this is in regards, or it can be two separate situations where one's a passion project and one's some solid new start, because you're weighing your pros and cons, which one to take or do. Now, if this is in regards to love, this is a solid new start with somebody that you're having a passion at beginning with, but you're you're juggling it whether you should do it or not. Um, you're just still focusing on yourself, your shit, your job, your things. Um, keep doing that, and it'll come to you. But what is coming towards Capricorn, please? Page of Cups in reverse. Well, there's a lack of communication or the wrong communication or honestly, just not like good news, hearing something negative. Can I have something else? With, one more, please, for what's coming towards Capricorn, please. Two pages. It's like whatever this is, it's making you curious. You're like, hmm. Why aren't they answering me? We're like, why is this going in the direction that it's going in? But you're curious in the sense of like a good curious, like, um, like you're not worried. Like you feel like you have so much potential that it's like of no concern right now. You're like, oh, it could be good. It could be bad. Either way, I don't care, but I'm interested to find out. So that's the vibe. That's the energy that's coming towards you. What is it that Capricorn does not see coming their way? Knight of Cups. Ooh, justice. If you wanted justice, well, here it is, baby. <laughs> you get some kind of invitation or you get some information or somebody calls and contacts you and says, I would like to talk to you. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra too. Uh, anyway, your person comes back to talk to you and it makes you feel like good or justified actually, like this is karma correction. Um, what's the advice here for Capricorn, please? The sun and the Nine of Wands. All right, I get it. You feel a little stuck or trapped like there's your situation or whatever your situation is. But it does like talk about like not giving up on some sort of situation because you have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, somebody who's been hurt. Um, or you're very, very tired. So if this is work-related, you're physically exhausted. But it's saying don't give up now. All right? And the sun. You know, try to remain positive and happy here because there is something very happy to be had within this situation. Obviously, we're going to clarify and we're going to see what it's talking about. Let's see what the outcome of the week is, please. The Five of Swords and the P, the Knight of Swords. So somebody rushes in to communicate something here, right? And maybe you argue it back, but this is asking you for a sacrifice. If what you're about to do, is it worth the sacrifice? Because this is somebody who rushes in with diarrhea of the mouth and be like, you know what, as a matter of motherfucking fact, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, it, the whole dynamic changes. The whole reaction of the situation changes. It's like, yeah, you're right, but it cost you a relationship. Yeah, you're right, but it cost you like, your job or your trustworthiness 
so watch what you are going to say to somebody or what somebody says to you or your reaction to it because it's like you will be making some sort of sacrifice all right let's continue what is the ace of pentacles the two of pentacles and the ace of wands please for capricorn fourth week of august first temperance five of pentacles and the nine of cups all right i get it you're trying to restore your balance capricorn from something here um you are you do feel left out in the cold but after being left out in the cold all of a sudden these new opportunities come towards you and they feel like for you um wish fulfillment simple enough some of you it's a business partnership others of you it is a happy couplehood that's what that ace of wands is and that ace of pentacles look boom two of cups What is the Page of Cups in reverse and the Page of Swords, please? Yeah, you're having a passion, a new beginning, and you're very, very happy. You're curious where it's going to lead you. You're a little stuck, though, maybe with a mistress. Because this, or a mister, or a third-party person, like somebody you were having an affair with, they come back to vindicate you, validate you, so now you're, like, stuck. You're like, wait. Because you valued that person dearly. And I don't know if it's the same person that you were having an affair with, or a fling, or an affair, or whatever you were doing. Um, but you're having some passion in your beginning that's making you happy. Let's see. I guess that's what your justice is. What's justice in the Knight of Cups? What you don't see coming. It's about the ending, the betrayal that you had with a lover. The, the, just the sheer end with a lover. Potentially having some sort of reconciliation with them. Um, but you're torn. You don't know what to do. New person, lover. But you are going to move on into a new direction that's easier for you, smoother. What is the Nine of Wands and the Sun? Please clarify. Don't give up if this is you, because this is you. Some of you could be also dealing with another Earth sign like yourselves. Just take it day by day, move forward slowly and cautiously be happy remain positive don't give up yet and if you have too many boundaries you have too many boundaries too many boundaries create walls and nothing gets through a wall nothing boundaries are meant to be like there's the line don't cross it not like there's a wall don't come in at all all right guys what is the five of swords and the knight of swords please You're trying to manifest the situation because right now you have a little bit of unrequited love here with someone. All right, because I think your focus keeps going towards the past. Um, but in a fond way, not that you're stuck there. Um, but you are manifesting a situation because right now there's something that you have that it's like, eh, not for me. Or there's unrequited love. That's what you need to sacrifice. You have to make a sacrifice of some kind in order to have something become stable solid do you do the new thing do you do the old thing what do you do one must go romance angels what do you see here for capricorn please mm -hmm. look for honestly you're having chemistry here with a new love and it's saying it's safe for you to love i see it here i mean it says, don't be scared. The boundary thing that we were talking about in your advice position, it's okay for you to open up to this person and love this person, okay? Because this person will do the same in return for you. What do you want to say about new love to Capricorn, please?
the Empress and the Nine of Cups. But you also have the fleeting card, the casual card at the back of your mind. So this new love is something that you might have been manifesting or wanting, and now it's here. Let me see what the Romance Angel, I mean, I'm sorry, what the Wisdom House of Night has for you guys. Sorry, the videos are short and sweet. They're going to be like this for a few weeks. I'm going on vacation, so there's not going to be a video for about a week or two. Uh, they'll be back mid-September for Capricorns. Please keep your notification bells on for when I return. I just need a break. I need some vitamin D and vitamin C, as in S-E-A. Capricorn, please. I will be posting some short videos from where I'll be, so, you know, tune in for those to be fun. Uh, meditation. So take a break and meditate on your situation to see where you are meant to go to help you come to a conclusion or an answer or a decision. Be still and listen to the sounds of the pulsing energy as the life and for the life force inherent in all things, like a gentle song to your sweet ears. In the darkest, inkiest of night, I nix make my magic and weave it into the world. This is a time for non-action. Do nothing and find quiet within your heart and wait. All will be revealed when the time is right. Now is the time to just quiet contemplation. You're not going to miss anything if you stay quiet. Be still and know that I, Nix, am always with you as you discover your magic in silence. Touching. Perfect. All right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you um, in a week or two. All right. Until then.